might seem tempting to answer a text at a stoplight or put on your new favorite song in a music app, but now Arkansas drivers are going to have to put down their cell phones or pay the price. One of the more challenging things about owning a driving academy is that I often, too many times, two is too many, and it's been more than two, believe me, will get parents who have already lost a child because of a risky behavior while driving. That risky behavior? Texting. Using a cell phone while driving caused an estimated 1.5 million car accidents in 2018, according to the National Safety Council, which is why the state of Arkansas is cracking down. The new law defining the term texting. So now you got people going down, they're checking their Facebook status, they're checking their Instagram, they're checking their whatever, Twitter or whatever. So this applies to everything, not just straight texting. Part of the new law also sets a minimum fine if someone gets a ticket for texting of $25, not including court fees, which could cost you at least $140 in places like Springdale. Anything that they do to improve uh, the penalties and the consequences for people using their phone while driving is an improvement. Um, but there are still so many things that are legal to do that my response to that would be just because it's legal doesn't mean it's wise. For example, the law still states a person isn't in violation if he or she enters a telephone number. But if you are texting in a school zone under the new law, it's now a primary offense. They don't have to have some other reason. If they just see that you are on your cell phone in a school zone during school hours and children are outside and present, then the police can pull you over just for that. Now, drivers 18 and under, they can't be on a phone at all, regardless of if it's handheld or not. If you're older than 18, you're still permitted to use a handheld device like Bluetooth in your car. We're in Springdale this evening. I'm Jordan Black, 4029 News.